When I first see this type of devastation, it's like the apocalypse. These embers came blowing into the town of Paradise, and it quickly became an urban firestorm. There's so many possible contaminants in these cars, in these buildings. The concern is that the rain mobilized these toxic materials down through storm drains right into our creeks and streams. We need to figure out what risk this poses to our watersheds or to human health. We can't necessarily build an intuition for that just on ground level analysis. Here at Draper, we have really advanced image analytic techniques that we're hoping can help us understand what the toxic debris looks like after a fire. There's been a revolution in satellite development in the last five years. There are satellites the size of a toaster, and they're easier and less expensive to fly. So there's so much more data coming down from so many more satellites, looking at patterns before, during the fire, after the fire. We can use artificial intelligence and data analytics running on Dell Technologies to put all of that data together to help us understand where the toxic debris is falling and where it might end up in waterways. And that can help scientists figure out where to focus their efforts. I love figuring things out and solving problems. What really excites me about this technology is that we're going to start learning the full story so that we understand how to solve these problems in the future.